Focal, one of the global hi-fi industry's most successful design and manufacturer. A company with a long history of engineering excellence, world renowned for their speakers and speaker drivers. They have created some legendary speakers. However, we are looking at two different products from Focal. Can a speaker company really make a good set of headphones? Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect Systems. We have had in for review two pairs of headphones from Focal. Now both of these headphones come from their home range. We have the Elia and the Ultra High End Utopia. Both of these sets of headphones are designed for home use. Very serious audiophile, you know, critical listening headphones. Both pairs have received many good reviews, lots of industry awards and praise, but what do we think of them? Okay, so we're gonna have a quick look at both of these pairs of headphones. Now, I don't personally claim to be a headphones expert purely because I've just not listened to enough pairs and I haven't listened to enough ancillary, you know, different types of headphone amplifiers and other types of equipment. Now, for the review of both of these pairs of headphones, some of the testing was done with the Cord Electronics Dave DAC using the headphone out, and some of the testing was done just using my Samsung uh, Galaxy S7 Edge phone. Both of these headphones share similar technologies, but at the same time, they are quite different. Okay, initially looking at the Alia headphones and the ba their basic specifications. They're an 80 ohm headphones. They have a 40 millimeter aluminum magnesium M-shaped patented driver. They have a frequency response of five hertz to 23 kilohertz. They have a THD of 0.3%. They are capable of 104 dB SPL. They come with a three meter cable, which has a quarter inch jack connector. Just quickly looking at the actual main design of the headphones, we have an aluminium, kind of central bar, central yoke. We have a leather headband, which is nice. We have, these are open back headphones and we have a unique obviously design here from Focal, very nice. They use memory foam cushioning within the headphones. However, they've adopted for microfiber ear pads and microfiber headband. There is some adjustment within the headband, only slightly, but some adjustment there. And obviously we have our cable connects to the headphones very simply and very easily. We have left and right indication for the correct plugs. Literally just a case of push it in, pop it click, a little bit of tension, pop it out. So put it in, click it in, a little bit of tension, and it comes free. The cable that comes with the headphones has a nice Focal logo. It's long at three meters, made of oxygen free copper, and it's screened. Did I say it's long? <laughs> three meters long, and it's heavy. It's a heavy cable. So what do I think of the design? I'm a little bit mixed. I think they're very nice looking headphones. They look they look premium and they, and they look expensive. Don't know why they've chosen to go with microfiber as opposed to leather, a head you know underside of the headband and and for the ear pads. I really don't know why they've chosen to go with microfiber. Possibly to to make these headphones different to the, to the Utopias. Maybe it's that reason. They just don't feel as nice. That to me, you know, microfiber is okay. It's nice for cleaning your car, it's nice for dusting, but <laughs> that means that these do attract dust. And they, it obviously doesn't make them uncomfortable, but it doesn't make them feel as premium as they could do if these were leather. For me, microfiber is, is a no. Um, obviously the leather headband across the top is nice. I like the Focal logo. I really like the way they use, kind of like an emblem on the back. and. The metal grill that they use, the design there is nice. You know, it's very neat, very nice, and very sleek. Um, I like the colours. You know, black and kind of titanium colours. I like that. I think that's really nice. And I think from a visual point of view, these look nice. And from a visual point of view, they look expensive, which is exactly what you know they're intending to do. It's nice that Focal are using their own specific technologies within the headphones: aluminium, magnesium, M-shaped. Um, like the drivers, which are obviously are patented. So it's nice to see that they're putting some you know, new technologies or technologies from the Utopia headphones into the Alia at obviously one third the price. Now the big one for a pair of headphones is how comfortable are they? And 
I struggled. I, I'll be honest, I did struggle with these headphones from a comfort point of view. They, they, they just seem to have a slightly odd shape, which doesn't really suit my head. And maybe it's because I've got an odd shaped head, which is quite possible. But initially, you know, getting used to where they keep the LNR um, indicators is, is tricky. They're right on the bottom, they're quite difficult to see. But when you put the headphones on and obviously adjust them to your head, they don't feel as if they grip that tight. They, they feel like they've got a slight angle to them, like they fit tight around the back of your ears, but obviously a little bit looser at the front of your ears. Now that could be like an, an intended design uh, aspect of the headphones. They just don't feel, they don't seem to snug your head that much. And they, and they feel a little bit cumbersome to me anyway, wearing them on, on your head. And that is made 10 times worse with the, with the heavy three meter cable, which always feels like it's kind of tugging tuck in your head you really do need to lift it up and kind of support this cable and put it on something really to just to alleviate that kind of tugging sensation which it does it does put on um the headphone my system as you if you check in the channel and see the videos the system is obviously at the front of the room i was able to sit in the main listening position and use these headphones with the system all being at the front and that was lovely that was a really nice thing to be able to do that with the obviously with the longer cable but that meant that there was tension there most of the time you know, and, and I could feel it, and you and you do notice, and it it does add a bit of weight uh, to the headphones, which are other than other than the the, you know, the cable weight, extremely light. You, you know, you don't you don't really notice you're wearing them from a weight point of view. I just I just find that the microfiber is not just not that nice against your skin, really. It's just not as nice. It hasn't got that kind of clean and smooth and, and, and comforting feeling that leather does. Okay, let's talk about the sound quality. Of the Alia and just <laughs> just like what I did with the comfort side of things for these headphones, I've struggled a little bit with the sound quality of these headphones. Now, up until today, I really didn't like them. I was really struggling to get a, you know a sound from them that I was really comfortable with. Initially, I was using them with the the Dave, the, you know the Cord Electronics Dave uh, DAC, the you know, headphone phone amplifier from that, and th that drove these nicely. And there was some some good aspects. You, you know, you get a, you know relatively clean. Um, presentation from them, you know, a decent-ish sound stage and uh, you know an okay bass, but everything just sounded a little bit congested and, and a little bit compressed sounding from a from a space point of view. And considering that obviously these are open back headphones, I was expecting a more expansive kind of presentation. I tried the headphones out as mentioned on my Samsung Galaxy S7 phone, and I've also tried them out on a iPhone 6 Plus. I think it's you know the big one. That still uses the uh, jack 3.5 millimeter jack and these actually sounded best funnily enough off of the iphone 6 that is actually when they sounded best bearing in mind i was listening to you know mp3 it sounded a little bit compressed in the music but just in terms of kind of the tone the emotional um connection to the music just seemed better from from the iphone today however i put these up against my existing headphones which are um, much cheaper Pioneer HRM6, which really are, I just use them for, for monitoring the recordings that we do as part of the channel for the reviews. And I tried out different styles of music, and, and in some styles of music, I preferred the Pioneers, obviously, to, to these Aaliyahs, and that made me even more, uh, you know, disappointed, I think, in, in these headphones, until we try, I tried some quite fast jazz and detailed jazz music, you know, piano, a couple of guitars and quite a bit going on and these headphones were able to resolve all that information superbly by comparison to the Pioneer headphones so it literally took until today for me to start to appreciate really what these headphones are all about and these headphones are all about trying to give you uh, you know a layered presentation they're about trying to give you uh, a detailed presentation now Looking at it from a frequency point of view, I find with these, there's a bit of a kick in the bass somewhere. I'm guessing maybe around the 50 hertz-ish range. There's a bit of a kick there. That goes into a little bit of a lean mid-range for me. Vocal sounds very clean, but also a little bit lean, just for me personally. And then the treble I found to be a touch brittle with these headphones. So this is me being ultra critical and ultra fussy and 
you know, in, in a way, headphones have an easier job than speakers, don't they? Because they are bolted straight to your head. But at the same time, they have a harder job because they're bolted straight to your head. You know, everything, you know, every flaw and every minor niggle, uh, uh, you know, with the presentation stands out really, doesn't it? Like a sore thumb. And, and to me, it was just the, the frequency response of these headphones didn't seem how, how, how I like them for starters and didn't seem quite as neutral as the Utopias, which obviously I was listening to kind of on and off, obviously using the Aaliyahs. So after today and the listening session I did with these today, I appreciate these much more. And what it's shown to me is that these are not the headphones for me and we have personal preference, don't we, with these things. I can appreciate what they do. They've had a you know a lot of really good reviews and obviously a lot of people do like these headphones. They're just, they're just not the headphones for me. But they have shown me that I do actually need to get some new headphones because the headphones that I'm using are, are not good enough for what I need and, and that these headphones showed these to me. I just think at, at a 900 pounds, price point even though these are quite good and they do some things good i just don't feel they separate themselves enough from the cheaper headphones that you can buy for me in terms of a rating i'll give these i'll give these a thumbs up because they do some things very well I feel like at this price point they don't quite do enough for me they're not quite finished to a high enough standard for me for it to be a double thumbs up please don't let that put you off you know you need to try these out these are very popular headphones they've had lots of good reviews and Okay, so looking at the Focal Utopias, you know, they're very exclusive, ultra premium headphones. I just want to start by looking at the box that they come in because this is probably, you know, with the red stitching and just like that. I don't know if it's real leather, it kind of it does actually feel like real leather. Now, I wonder how much of the £3,500 price tag goes on this box because. This is probably the nicest box I think I've ever seen in terms of boxes. It is, it is exquisite, it is beautiful. And when you pull this out of the kind of cardboard out of boxing, it does give you a lovely first impression that you've bought a premium product. And that, that continues inside. When you open this up, you know, lovely logos. When you, when you can get it in, when you open this up, it is just lovely on the inside as well. This is a really nice box. And, you know, I must commend Focal. This is a beautiful packaging. It really is lovely. Now these are <laughs> these are a, a bit special. I feel in terms of the design. Now we have a lovely, a really nice, high quality leather headband. Unique is the carbon fiber yoke on these headphones. Now I've never seen a pair of headphones use carbon fiber before, and it is beautiful. It's really nice. You know, where, whether it's needed or not is a different story, but with these headphones, they're obviously pushing the boat out. They're trying to make them as premium and as, as exclusive as possible. And using carbon fiber for the yoke is a lovely touch. It's even got you know a Focal, a Focal badge kind of printed into it. So that is fantastic. That is really lovely. These are an 80 ohm headphone. They have a 0.2% THD. The frequency response is five hertz all the way up to 50 kilohertz. They also use a 40 millimeter M shaped patented driver however the driver in the utopias is made from beryllium focal was one of the early pioneers of beryllium for speaker drivers now yamaha used it first focal obviously was second and if you look through many of the focal speakers you know they're more exclusive and better end speakers they're all using beryllium tweeters and beryllium now is used by several speaker manufacturers for its you know stiffness inherent inherent stiffness and yet you know lightweight and that is part of the reason why this driver can extend up to 50 kilohertz the ear pads are a biomaterial construction a combination of lambs wool and microfiber the cable it comes with uses a neutric quarter inch jack connector and the connectors that attach to the headphones are shielded limo connectors now these connect to the headphones again in a very simple way there is a dot you line up the dot on the connector with the dot on the dot on the headphones and they just push in and an auto lock and then you apply pressure and they come out push them in auto lock the cable again with the headphones is three meters long it's oxygen free copper and screened as well okay so what do i think of the design of the utopias now these are really a touch of class now these these are expensive premium headphones and when you look at them they do seem it, they do really look expensive. The, the, the leather quality across the top headband is fantastic. And the use of lambs skin leather um, 
if you think of Ugg boots, you know, that type of leather, that's what they've used on here. And it's it's really soft, it's really supple, and it just feels really nice against your skin. And that obviously goes across the headband as well as the ear pads. Now, I've obviously used memory foam as well, obviously as part of the cushioning. As I mentioned before, the Focal logo on the carbon fiber yoke for these headphones is really nice. And that yoke just seems, it's smaller, it seems slimmer, it seems thinner than that of the, um, than that of the ear. It's, it's nicer, it's just nicer to look at. The headphones are more elegant for something that's kind of so big and so chunky it just makes them look cleaner and more elegant and i think it's just a nice color it's, it's mostly black isn't it and and kind of i don't know what black carbon you know black and the color of carbon fiber with just a touch of red obviously there isn't it for our headphones so these are really lovely to look at they feel expensive they feel premium and from a comfort point of view unlike the Elias, these literally go straight on your head and are instantly comfortable. They, 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 well, they grip my head much more firmly. They feel more secure on my head. And sometimes headphones that grip your head a little bit tight can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable initially. But it's just something about the way these, these feel on your head. You know, they feel, they just feel comfortable, they feel nice. They've got a nice weight, they've got a nice balance. And okay, so let's talk about the sound quality of the Focal Utopias. Now, Within about five minutes of listening to these, I was aware that these are very much a connoisseur product. They, re they remind me of a very high quality pair of speakers. And by that, I mean they are ultra resolving. They're fast, they're clean, they're detailed, and actually, in a way, a little bit clinical in that presentation. Now, what is a connoisseur product? What is a connoisseur headphone? To me, this is a headphone that's gonna give you a very clear and honest representation of what you feed in it. So you can have a lot of fun with these headphones, finding the right combination of equipment for you for these headphones. Driving these from the Cord Electronics Dave DAC, I found it to be a little, I found it to be clean and clear and ultra precise and fast. But for me, it was just a, you know, a little bit too lean and a little bit too dry and a little bit too plain. Now, obviously, if someone else might love that combination. That might be right what they're looking for. Now, I'm sure with headphones of this quality, you could plug them into you know, half a dozen different headphone amplifiers and there will just be that one that is perfect for you as an individual. However, I use these with a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and that was just about enough, just about enough power to drive these. Not brilliantly, but it was just about enough. And again, I used them with a, with an iPhone uh, 6 Plus, and that had more guts and was just about, again, able to drive these sufficiently. So you don't necessarily need to spend £10,000 on a, on a headphone amplifier for these to sound good. It's just these are ultra-resolving headphones, and that means getting the combination right for you as an individual with headphones like this is going to lead to that magic result and i didn't quite get the magic result that i would like from these headphones but i could really appreciate just how good these are these are ultra clear you get a sound stage which feels wide sometimes you get a sound stage which feels tall sometimes you get a sound stage you get a bass presentation it actually feels like it's outside the headphones kind of in your body which was you know, unbelievable really when you think about it and with some vocal i listened to some big vocal music with these headphones and, and it, the vocal sounded like or felt like it was actually coming out of my own mouth and that is quite an unusual experience but i just think that's a way of explaining how close i actually felt to the music it, it resolved the layering of the music fantastically well. That's something you don't hear, or something I've not heard from headphones before in, in terms of just how well it's layered the music. Kind of not left to right, I mean front to back, which is normally a speaker's thing, isn't it? We get projection from our speakers in, into the room or we get layering of sounds that come out into the room and back. Now, obviously headphones are never gonna be able to do that, but if it's able to, to give you an impression of, of depth, or depth layers, or the layers within the music presentation, then it's done something seriously right. Now, for me, the bass from these headphones is too lean. I personally prefer a, a more fuller bass, but the actual bass quality was fantastic. Ultra clean, ultra resolved, ultra detailed. We've got a mid-range again that's ultra clean and ultra precise. 
Uh, it's probably the most precise mid-range I think I've ever heard. Uh, and then we've got a, you know, a delicate treble with no harshness and no grain at all. So from, from a technical point of view, it really feels like Focal have nailed it with these headphones. But I think because of that, it's then you know the user's job to get the perfect combination of equipment to come before it, to tailor the sound to them as an individual. So these will be great fun to test out all different manner of headphone amplifiers, tube based ones. I think some tube color would probably go fantastically well with these headphones, thinking about it. And they are, they're a statement piece, aren't they? I, I think if you spent maybe 50 or 80,000 pounds on some, you know, Focal Utopia speakers, then it would make sense for you to have a pair of, you know, matching headphones. And, and, and these are, a class act. Price wise, these come in at about three and a half thousand pounds. Rating for these headphones, and I'd have to give these a double thumbs up purely because they've given me sound from a headphones that I've not experienced before. Okay, directly comparing the two headphones, we have obviously the Utopias at three thousand five hundred pounds, and we have the Elias at nine hundred pounds. So we've got a huge price difference between the two. I can't help but think Focal have done a great job in keeping some similarities within this headphone range. I have to question Focal's judgment really of using purely microfiber headbands, headphones here. These could still be microfiber and leather and the Utopias would still be worth the higher price point because of they are lambs wool leather and they are a much higher performing headphone it goes a little bit further where you know there's some, there's some unnecessary cutbacks i feel on the Elias. like for example in the cables the utopia uses a nutric connector now, the Elia just uses a standard connector there's a few cutbacks on these I mean, ones you expect are you know an aluminium aluminium magnesium driver as opposed to beryllium you know you expect to pay a lot more for beryllium you expect to pay a lot more for carbon fiber but for me, at £900, we should be getting leather and we should be getting a Nutric connector. Okay, so just, just the last couple of comments on, on these headphones. I mean, these are very high quality premium headphones. They both feel extremely well made. They, they seem like they're gonna last you a lifetime. Both are very nice looking and comfortable headphones to wear. There's a, there's a big price difference between the Elia and the Utopia, but there's a very big performance difference between these two. And it literally takes about two minutes of listening to the two of them to notice the difference. The resolution and the clarity and the way that the music's presented from the Utopias is a clear step up from the Elias. But it seems like with the Elias, they've put a bit of a bass kick in there, possibly to make it a little bit more commercial sounding, to add a little bit of color uh, to the presentation, which is in a way welcome, but unfortunately it comes with, you know, the slight congestion and a slight compressing and a slight muffling of different layers of the sound. but. You know, both both are going to give you very enjoyable, uh, you know, both are very enjoyable musical performances, and I think you can have a lot of fun messing around with different headphone amplifiers and setups to to get a sound that you enjoy. I can't help but look at the Utopias and, and think what a class act they are. Mm -hmm.